Hi, I'm Whitney with Fairway and Sensible Health, and today I've got Adam, our resident meat expert, here to help me. So Adam, what do you got going on today? Well, today we're going to do flank steaks, and we're going to grill them, but we need a little bit of preparation first, and we're going to stuff them, okay? Okay. It sounds, so, it sounds intimidating. Is it hard? A little bit. You know, it's not real hard, but you do, there is a little prep work to okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I kept it pretty simple today. Um, all we're going to do is, is put some mozzarella cheese in there, um, throw some asparagus, some baby asparagus on mm -hmm. there, and also some uh, a couple colors of, uh, of peppers, just, just for color. And from a health standpoint, I mean, this is really great. So you're getting your vegetables in there, you know, your in-season peppers and your asparagus. Right. And mozzarella is a really low-fat cheese, naturally. Yeah. Yes. Um, and it has a really high melting point, which is why it's so great for pizza. Mm -hmm. So we've got some really good ingredients, and flank steak is a really lean steak. So, yep. you know, also from a health standpoint, you might not even know you're eating healthy, but you really are. It is. It is. <laughs> I was just going to kick that in there. It is a, it is a lean, lean steak. If you do it right, it's going to be so tender, though. Right. But yep. you got to put a little work into it first. You do. You do. So let's start. <laughs> okay. Um, so at your fairway meat counter, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the counter and ask one of the guys or gals um, to pick you out a nice flank steak, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and what you're going to want them to do or ask them to do for you is just have them slice it, butterfly it open. Butterfly okay? it open. So, okay. And I've already done that with this piece here. All you're going to do is butterfly it open so it just opens like a book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it ends up being a lot thinner that way and now you have all kinds of room, surface area to stuff that piece of flank steak and then roll it up. So all we're going to do is we're going to start with just a little bit of flavor here, some teriyaki. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just going to baste it with just a little bit of uh, teriyaki. Um, so you didn't marinate, marinate this at all? I did not. Not this particular piece. You okay. sure can if you want to. Okay. Um, it's going to make it even just even more tender and mm -hmm. flavorful than it is already. And this is a good time too to show kind of the grain of the meat before it's cooked. You know, this is what yep. we're talking about when we say the grain of the meat. How you know how those strands kind of run yes. Yes. run in there? Yep. It runs up and down just like this, and it's very tight grain. There's not a mm -hmm. lot of marbling in that. So so the key is going to be to to cook it slow. Mm -hmm. Okay. After we get that basted down with a little flavor and a little tenderizer uh, marinating sauce, all we're going to do is sprinkle a little bit of mozzarella on there. And you could go Parmesan too if you want a little Parmesan, sharper Parmesan. I almost brought feta. the Parmesan. Yep. That well, is a good one too because it doesn't melt all over your grill. It kind of stays that's packed exactly in there. That's exactly right. Now when you're laying these on there too, Whitney, uh, make sure that you're laying, them, laying the asparagus and the rest of your vegetables with the grain like we talked okay. about, okay? Because when we slice that, we're going to slice it against the grain. Right. Okay. All we're doing now is we're rolling things up, and now we're just going to tie it up, okay? Mm -hmm. And you don't need to soak that or anything before you put it you on the grill? You don't. You don't. It's, it's, um, it's fire safe string. So that, that was a pretty fancy knot there that you, that you just did. I'm yes. more of a loop, swoop, and pull that kind works of perfect. knot doer. That tie it works like also. you tie your shoe, a double knot would be right. just perfect. <laughs> yep. So we transferred our, our steaks to the grill here. and. All I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm basting them a little bit with some, some of that Kins uh, marinade and the teriyaki sauce to give it a little bit of flavor, a nice little color, it'll caramelize some. And you can do it if you want, it's optional. Put them right on the grill, low heat, indirect heat, so you can cook those things for about 35 to 45 minutes on indirect heat and turn them every so often. And when it hits 160 degrees, they're done. Take them off. So Adam, this is all done and it smells so good. So we're kind of in the final stages. Any technique to cutting it? You know, really there's no technique. Do you remember when we laid everything in there with the grain? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to start slicing things against the grain and, we're gonna, and I'm going to try and slice between the strings that we tied so these pinwheels hopefully stay together just like I did on that one here, okay? Yep. And that's very important for the, for the meat to be tender and for it to stay up together mm -hmm. is that you slice it against the grain always. Okay, and there we are, look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, goodness. those are beautiful. So if you want this recipe or any others, you can visit fairway.com. And remember, the most important ingredient in any grilling recipe is family. And friends. <laughs> <laughs>